Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jay and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel, my idling YouTube channel for quite some time. I know my channel has been idling for about a couple of years now. I've put out a video here and there, but recently I've been having a massive push from all directions, from, from New Zealand, from internationally, from, from my circle to put some content out on YouTube. Now, the reason I haven't got started is because there's already enough content on Amazon that exists on YouTube, I thought. Obviously, I was wrong. It seems as though people want to hear from someone who is actually from their country, not from someone who's overseas, someone that they'll probably perhaps never meet. You know, they're sick and tired of seeing all these YouTube ads from people that they simply don't know or perhaps simply don't trust or simply that they perhaps never meet or hear from in real life. So I thought, you know what? Makes sense. Let's go out there and actually do this YouTube things for once and actually just, you know, put it out there properly. You know, let's, let's get this baby cranking. So I thought it would be a good idea to start off with an introduction. Uh, introduction to, to myself, my background, how I got started, why I got started. I think that will be a great place to start from. And then perhaps uh, it will be great to, 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 to hear from you as well, where you're from, where you're based. If you're based in New Zealand, I definitely want to hear from you. So, you know, my story in a nutshell is, story in a nutshell is this. I have a, a lot of arts background. I've been doing arts most of my life. And I worked at Dick Smith for seven years. And I also sold things on Trade Me here. While I was 16, 16, 17, I imported some stuff, sold on trade me for one dollar reserve. So, long story short, 2010, I graduated from university with Bachelor of Architecture and I struggled to get a job because of recession. Recession going on and I worked at Dick Smith and, you know, I had this sales experience. So, I basically got into the sales game, started knocking on doors and started selling shit, right? It was all great. In fact, it was, it was, it was paying me better than an architectural salary. But I was sick and tired of convincing people to buy from me, you know, buy from me, buy from me. In fact, one of the most cutthroat jobs that I had was actually Xerox and HIV. HIV was com completely commission based where I had to earn a living purely from selling. If I didn't sell, I did not earn. So one day I just got sick of everything and I perhaps came to a... Uh, 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 a point where I had to make a decision whether I want to stay within my nine to five or do I want to go out there and do something that I loved personally. So I quit my job. I quit my job cold turkey and moved back to my parents' house. And I basically learned this online business, what it involved by signing up to a course at that time. It was a digital experts academy at that time, which I signed up for. And I learned marketing. I learned online marketing way before Amazon, before any of that stuff that I do today, I actually came across a mentor, Stuart Ross, who actually gave me advice. He said, before creating your own product, master marketing, master online marketing, because once you know how to market, you'll be able to sell any product. So that advice I took to heart. And in fact, I, I learned marketing, Facebook marketing, you know, all these different types of marketing, marketing methods. My favorite was Facebook, which I started to go with. But it took me 11 months of me quitting my job, moving back to my parents' house and actually making my first sale online. It was that spark that I was looking for. In fact, the same day, I had another sale, 100 bucks and another 100 bucks, 200 bucks while I was cleaning my car. So that was the spark that I was looking for, which gave me confidence to take four years off further on top of what I had already taken off. And the year after that, 2014, I actually came across Amazon, uh, business model of selling on Amazon via a mentor of mine, Anna Davidson, who you probably see around or meet very soon. She's actually become a best friend of mine. And uh, we actually do trainings together now. But since 2014, I've been selling my own private label products. You know, I have I've begged and borrowed. I had obviously quit my job cold turkey, so I had no funds available. I actually had to make things work to get, you know, my foot inside the door of this online industry. And what I loved about Amazon when I first came, uh, you know, when I first came about, you know, uh, came, came um, across it was that I didn't have to 
worry about all the dirty work, which means I didn't have to worry about picking, packing, shipping, refunds, customer service, none of that stuff. All I had to worry about was picking or creating great products and just selling those products. And by the way, when I say selling, I mean just driving clicks and learning how to convert those clicks into buyers. So that was, that was my aha moment when I realized that I didn't have to ship products myself. I could just launch a product online and have someone else take care of all that stuff for me, but at a really high standard, way more high, way higher than I could have ever uh, you know, done myself or provided myself. The rest was history. That's how I got, got involved with Amazon. And since then I've launched my products. I've, I've worked with companies as well. I've sold their products. I've also been consulting and coaching for about four years now, which now obviously has led to me launching a YouTube channel and sharing my journey and sharing my uh, successes, not just successes, but also failures as well, because that's one thing, one area, not a lot of people talk about the failures. They always paint rainbows and, and unicorns and all of that stuff, but it's the failures that really make you. I've failed over so many times. I've had so many product launches that have failed and I've had lots of products, marketing, branding. I've failed in many different areas in this e-commerce space, which is why I feel like uh, um, I'm so confident today with products when it comes to creating products and also selling products. So with that said, whether you're a Kiwi from New Zealand wanting to sell on Amazon or whether you're one of my international followers who've been following my Instagram and my Facebook and my you know trainings, um, this is... Uh, this is a channel that I'll be putting out. This is the space where I'll be putting out most of my content and that includes Amazon and that includes e-commerce and that actually means you know going deeper into building your own stores like Shopify, WooCommerce, we even talk about eBay, other marketplaces like Etsy, Trade.me, all of that stuff but underlying principle, the underlying foundations of this whole Amazon thing is entrepreneurship and I'll be talking about entrepreneurship and how actually I made it work because there were so many challenges what exactly that worked for me what exactly was my strategy what exactly have been my other students or my other peers strategies that have worked for them when it comes to selling on Amazon and also establish, establishing a successful online business so okay that's it don't want this video to be too long but if you want to to learn how to sell on Amazon, if you want to, if you have been thinking about selling on Amazon, if you've had that spark within you, if this sparks up an interest now, then I want you to follow me because from now onwards, I'm going to be sharing a lot of serious cutting edge content with, which I believe New Zealand is going to benefit from, if not the international community, New Zealand definitely. So hit that subscribe button and I hear from you soon. Take care over and out. Journey.